Hello and welcome to season two of Horror GPT, where imagination and AI conspire to bring you campfire ready horror stories. I'm your host, Niall Kinza Oliver. Well, thank you for joining us for season two. This time, we've decided to do things a little differently, as in I will be narrating the intros and outros. However, the prompts and the stories will be narrated by an AI clone of my voice. Let's see if you can tell the difference. All right, well, with that out of the way, let's get started. Whispers in the stacks. A night. Locked in the library. In the small town of Ravenwood, there stood an old, creaky library with a history shrouded in mystery. Legend had it that the library was built on an ancient burial ground, and eerie occurrences were not uncommon within its walls. Despite the tales, Sarah and Alex, two adventurous teens, dismissed the stories as mere superstitions. One fateful night, however, they would come face to face with the chilling truth. Sarah and Alex loved spending their afternoons exploring the library's vast collection of books. On this particular day, they lost track of time engrossed in their favorite tales. As the sun dipped below the horizon, they realized they were the only ones left in the library. An unexpected power outage plunged the building into darkness, and the automatic doors, triggered by motion sensors, sealed shut with an ominous thud. Nervous laughter filled the air as Sarah and Alex attempted to find their way to the library's exit. Their hearts pounded in their chests as they navigated through the eerie shadows of towering bookshelves. But every time they thought they were on the right path, the room seemed to shift, leaving them disoriented and lost. What's going on? Sarah whispered, her voice trembling. I don't know. Maybe the power outage messed up the motion sensors, Alex replied, trying to sound brave despite his own fear. They continued wandering through the darkened library, their flashlight revealing faint outlines of dusty book spines. Strange noises echoed around them, whispers, shuffling footsteps, and the occasional sound of books defilling off shelves. This isn't right, Sarah said, clutching the flashlight tightly. As they ventured deeper into the library's labyrinth, they stumbled upon a peculiar section they had never seen before. Books with worn leather covers lined the shelves, their titles written in a cryptic language. One book stood out. It had an eerie glow emanating from its pages. Drawn to it by an inexplicable force, Sarah reached out to touch it, and as soon as her fingers made contact, a chilling wind swept through the aisle, blowing out their flashlight. Panicked, they fumbled in the darkness until the flashlight came back to life, but something was off. The once familiar library now seemed like an ever-changing maze, with endless corridors leading to different sections, each more unsettling than the last. We have to find a way out of here, Alex said, trying to keep his voice steady. As they searched, a haunting melody filled the air, growing louder with each step they took. It was a ghostly lullaby that sent shivers down their spines. Unable to resist its pull, Sarah and Alex followed the haunting tune to a secluded corner of the library. There, sitting on a dilapidated chair, was a spectral figure, a ghostly librarian. Her hollow eyes bore into theirs as she sang the eerie lullaby, and they felt a wave of sadness wash over them. They learned that she was the guardian of the ancient burial ground beneath the library, cursed to wander its halls forever. You must leave this place before the darkness consumes you too, the ghostly librarian warned in a mournful voice. Fear surged within Sarah and Alex, but they couldn't find the way out. The library seemed to shift and twist around them, trapping them further within its grasp. In a desperate attempt to escape, they resolved to confront the enchanted book. Gathering their courage, they opened it, revealing dark 
ethereal pages filled with arcane symbols. As they read the forbidden text aloud, the library trembled, and an otherworldly portal materialized before them. Without hesitation, they stepped through the portal, finding themselves back in the library, just as the first rays of dawn broke through the windows. They were free, but the memories of that harrowing night would forever haunt them. From that day on, Sarah and Alex never spoke of what they encountered, and the library's ghostly guardian returned to her silent vigil, awaiting the next unsuspecting visitor to unlock the secrets of the cursed library after dark. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Could you tell the difference between the AI and my actual voice? Well, if you would like any more information about Hara GPT regarding audiobooks, print books, merchandising, YouTube videos, or anything else, you can find us at www.haragpt.net. All right. See you next time. <laughs>